Hello, this is the classics with Tenzin, Clint, and Mohan. Today we will be talking about three religions. These three religions are Hinduism, Buddhism, and Christianity. All of these are very popular religions that have spread around the world. Let's start with the oldest one, Hinduism. Take it away, Rohan. So, Rohan, what is Hinduism? Hinduism is a polytheistic and pantheistic religion at the same time. It is polytheistic because of the array of gods and mythological identities, but in essence, it is pantheistic. Pantheistic is where God is synonymous with the universe and it is believed that every living and non-living creature is part of this universal energy. Hinduism started between 2300 BC and 1500 BC in the Indus Valley. Hinduism has over time gained many followers and now Hinduism has 900 million followers. Wow, that's very interesting. Indeed it is. So Rohan, we hear a lot of mythological characters when we hear Hinduism. What are the main ones? There are three supreme deities, which are Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva. Brahma is the god responsible for the creation of the world and all living things. Vishnu is the god that preserves and protects the universe. Vishnu has appeared on the earth through his avatars to save humankind from natural disasters and tyranny. Shiva is the god that destroys the universe in order to recreate it. Shiva the destroyer is a necessary part of the trinity because without destruction, there is no recreation. Wow, Hinduism has three gods. Oh, just three main ones. There are 33 million others. They are all avatars of the three main ones. Does Hinduism have any holy scriptures? There are also three main holy books called Veda, Upanishads, and Bhagavad Gita. The, however, the Gita is the main one. What is the Gita? The Gita is a dialogue between the warrior prince Arjuna and the god Krishna. This is a written poem when God Krishna is explaining to the warrior prince to follow the line of duty, which in case was to fight a war to destroy evil. Mahabharata focuses on the similar families of the Pandavas and Kauravas and their struggle for the control of the land far in India. How was Hinduism evolved over time? A big part of Hinduism in the past was the caste system. The caste system divides Hindus into four main categories, Brahmins, Kshatriyas, Vaishyas, and the Shudras. This system was misused over centuries and led to discrimination and lack of equity. Many leases have fought against this and over decades it is slowly decreasing. Now, Tenz, um, sorry. now Tenzin Shin will talk about the Buddha. Tenzin, what and who exactly is the Buddha? The Buddha was a teacher, philosopher, and an extraordinary being, but not a god. Buddha is also Siddhartha Gautama and the enlightened one who reached Nirvana. Now, the Buddha contributed to Buddhism by spreading his teachings and has impacted the world by contributing to many areas of philosophy. Buddhism is an Indian Dharmic religion that was founded in India by the Buddha in the 6th century BCE. Oh, I didn't know that the Buddha meant multiple things. Sounds like you know a lot about Buddha. What was the, his main goal in life? Well, at first the Buddha didn't have a goal but then encountered a corpse, an old man, and a sick man, which made him aw become aware of the suffering, which convinced him to have a goal and seek freedom for others and himself. Oh, that's very fascinating. I, yeah, I agree with Rohan. That's very intriguing. So how did the Buddha contribute to the spread of Buddhism? The Buddha spread Buddhism by spreading his teachings and Buddhist teachings around the world. Another important being that helped spread the Buddha's ideas and Buddhist teachings was Ashoka the Mayan Emperor. Ashoka spread Buddhism by, spend, by sending monks around the world teaching Buddha's ideas and Buddhist ideas. Wow, you know a lot. I wanted to ask, what was the Buddha's main goal for humanity in the past and present? Great question. The Buddha's goal for humanity in the past was to help people from suffering. The Buddha did this by meditating, which helped him reach enlightenment and help people from suffering. The Buddha's goal now is to reach nirvana and become enlightened. Wow, I learned so much how Buddhism is similar to Hinduism and Christianity. Buddhism shares many things with both of these religions. Some of the things that they share, some of the things that Buddhism shares with Hinduism are the law of karma, dharma, and believed in the cycle of rebirth. Buddhism is similar to Christianity because both religions encourage their followers to take action or steps to improve their well-being. I have learned so much about Buddhism and the Buddha. Yeah, I agree. I have learned a lot. Christianity. Clint, would you tell us about, a little about Jesus and his impact on Christianity? I sure can tell you about Jesus and his impact on Christianity. 
So, who is Jesus exactly? Jesus Christ was born in Nazareth in Israel, and his date of birth is unknown, but it's said that he was born from somewhere around 4,000 B.C. to 6,000 B.C. Wow, that is interesting. But do you know maybe may a bit more about Jesus? I sure do. Jesus is the Son of God who was crucified for the sins that we have committed before he rose from the dead. He is the second person in the Trinity, and he had lived a sinless life, and he healed the weak and fed the poor. Fascinating. How did Jesus help spread Christianity? Jesus spread Christianity, which has impacted our world today, because he went to different places in Israel. Jesus' apostles, disciples, emperor, emperors, missionaries, crusades, conquests, and people have telling other people about Christianity has spread Christianity. After Jesus was crucified, Christianity started to spread to continents and countries such as Europe and Northern Africa. In 6000 CE, Christianity was spread to most of Western Europe. Wow, you sure you know a lot about Jesus? I'm gonna keep asking questions. Has Jesus changed the way people live today? Jesus has impacted the way people live today and how people are looking at how people are looked at in society today. Jesus had an impact on how women are seen in our world today. Jesus treated women fairly and with respect and love, and his ministry partners were women. Jesus tells people to love your enemies, and that has a massive impact on our world today. Jesus taught people to care for the poor, the crippled, the lame, and the blind. He taught people to help someone in need. He really seemed like a great man. He sure was. So, did Jesus create new laws or things that you must follow when believing in Christianity that apply today? Yeah. Great question. And to answer your question, Jesus did not make any laws, but he taught people to follow the Ten Commandments and treat people with respect. He preached things to people and he said, you should, not you should not. Jesus had influenced people to become Christian, but his influence on Christianity has had a massive influence on Christianity and how humans view Christianity today. Wow, this topic is just so interesting. I need to ask one more question. Sure, what is your question? Has Jesus changed people's point of view about Christianity today? Some people believe that God and Jesus are a myth, but others believe in Christianity because of Jesus' preachings and the way he treated others. In conclusion, Jesus has had a major impact on Christianity as a whole today. Wow. I have learned so much about Jesus and his impact on Christianity. Thank you for having me on the Classics Talk Show. I enjoyed it a lot. Thank you. Me too. Thank you so much, Tenzin and Rohan. I am glad you learned so much. That concludes our show today, folks. I hope you learned a lot. and See you next time on, on the, the Classics. Classics. Yo!